Good morning. My name is Maureen Chung. Welcome to Daily Devotional of September 23rd. The Bible passage is Psalm chapter 13, verse 1 to 6, and the title is, How Long? How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say, I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me. In Psalm 3, the title gave the background of the circumstance of the psalmist David, who was being pursued by his rebellious son Absalom. Psalm 13 does not come with a title, except that it is attributed to David as the author but it is also a heart-wrenching cry to the Lord for deliverance. Why is David in such anguish and desperation? His prayers have gone unanswered for a long time. It seems that God has abandoned him. It appears as if God has turned his face from him and ignored him altogether. How can he continue to deal with an absentee God? More! His enemies are gloating and mocking. A Jewish king is supposed to meditate, a mediate between God and his people. He is meant to govern with delegated authority from God. But if God is silent and he has no instruction for him, then his throne is at risk and perhaps he is not fit to govern anymore. David pleads for an answer unless he can see God again, or he'd rather die. If he is disconnected from God, his spiritual death will also result in his physical death. He no longer has the will to live. In spite of God's silence, David hangs on to God's unfailing love and rejoices in his coming salvation. Strange reaction. Leap of faith. We may be looking for a career start after graduation. We may, we pray, but absolutely nothing comes along. We may be searching for a purpose, purposeful life, something to engage in that that's God's will for a season, but he's silent and we remain directionless. We may be praying for a life partner, a soulmate, but that person never shows up. God seems to be not caring. We may be praying for healing, but the sickness remains unhealed. We may be praying for loved ones to repent and return to the Lord our Savior, but they are still steeped in worldliness. Refugees from Taliban-governed Afghanistan and Russian invading Ukraine are seeking to exit their countries for safety, yet visas are hard to come by from their prospective adopting countries. Why are miracles happening to others, but not me? We struggle on day by day to live a normal life. We keep pleading with God. Can I trust in your unfailing love? We implore to the only source of salvation. If not you, God, who can? I would go back to the times of disappointment, failure, broken relationships, betrayals, insecurity, fear, worries. Anxiety, tears, depression, loneliness, helplessness, hopelessness, loss. I remember how suddenly God's hand moved mountains and circumstances changed. I can remember how heart suddenly softened. I can remember how my heart and mind changed and a glimpse of hope warmed from within me. Miraculously, a glimpse of God's shadow flew across and I breathed in fresh air. Suffering is not eternal. Only God is. That is why your love is unfailing and my salvation is assured. My hope is not in anything or anyone but in you, God, alone. You have a good track record for you have been very good to me. 
the more I count my past blessings, the more I rejoice in thanksgiving. Love never fails. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a bronze mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. No, it is more than a leap of faith. I am banking on your past friendship with me. You never change, God, and that's why I can count on you forever. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I pray for those who think that their enemies are triumphing over them. I pray for those whose foes are rejoicing as they seem to fall. I pray for those who think you are hiding your face from them. I pray the priestly blessing of Aaron upon them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turns his face towards you and give you peace. Yes, Lord, let them know that your face is still shining on them. Grant them your peace. Then they will rejoice and praise your name, for you have been very good to them. Assure them of your unfailing love, O Lord, I pray in your holy name. Amen. Thank you for joining me, and may God's comfort be with you. See you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.